Although I had a lot of gear ready for this, I didn't really need a lot of gear. I ended up using just the regular 18 and 55 millimeter kit lens. Uh, I ended up using a nifty 50. I ended up using a tripod and that's pretty much it. That's the only thing that we, we use for this short film. Besides that, we went handheld a couple of times just to get that handheld look. Um, but luckily we didn't really need much. Now, as far as lights, uh, it's just a regular uh, two light kit that I had at the time, which I'm still using. Uh, one light broke, but this one is still intact. It's actually one of those lights that you can just find on Amazon. They're not uh, that expensive and they're also not that good. But keep in mind, I bought this light many, 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 many years ago and it's still actually working. And if it, I wouldn't have broken the other one, which was actually, it broke because of my error, it still would have been working. So at the time, I guess the kits that they were selling were actually pretty decent uh, because, you know, the lights are still working. Now, the location that we ended up using was just, you know, my the apartment that I was living in at the time with my wife. We used the living room, we used the kitchen, and we used the front yard and the backyard. Now, one of the things I did end up having to do was actually go to my neighbor's house, you know, that were around there and let them know that we were shooting a short film and we were using uh, f uh, replica firearms. And we just told them not to be alarmed to please not to call the police department because we didn't want any trouble. We were on our property, but we didn't, you know, you know, with BB guns and with replica guns, you want to be, you want to make sure you just give people the courtesy of letting them know that you're going to be out there with them so they're not afraid. And it actually worked out because they wanted to know what I was doing. And when I told them that I was shooting a short film for YouTube, they wanted to check me out. I don't know if they subscribe or not, but at least, you know, maybe I got a view or two from them. I think another mistake that I made walking into the short film was actually not having music picked out prior to. I ended up doing the music as I was editing and it just, it made it a little bit more time consuming because then I had to sample different songs to different, I guess, different cuts because each time I tried a new song, I ended up having to cut the edit just a little bit different depending on what I was doing on that scene, just so it could fit the music a little bit better. And that got a little bit annoying. I think had I picked out the music ahead of time, it would have at least given me a little bit of an example of what to go by in terms of tempo, in terms of flow, speed as I'm shooting. The amount of work that went into some of these scenes made me also a little bit more conscious in terms of the script writing, what I'm putting my actors through, having to take on the lead role. I'm not an athletic person, as you can tell. I'm not trying to run that much. Oh my, God. my nephews are, you know, they played sports, so they would have been able to handle this role a little bit better as Eugene, which is one of my nephews who played the actual time traveler in the short film. He did a great job because he ended up having to jump from the top of the stairs to the bottom a bunch of times and he did it with no problem and we ended up only doing a couple of a couple of scenes because as a football player i didn't want him to get hurt on the off season doing a short film for his uncle so that wouldn't have looked good for college sports ready set action Ready? Well, hold on. Ready, set, action. All right. Yeah, that would be a good God. idea. Yeah, right. He's trying to catch his breath. He's, babe, you lying. You should not be lying to the cast and crew. You should be lying. Damn. That was good. But me having to run up and down those stairs, that was a problem. And having to run around the house, that was a problem. I was out of breath, my mouth was dry. It was just, it was all over the place. So now I know moving forward, when I'm writing certain scripts, I'm just going to make them a little bit less uh, athletic, if you know what I mean. Um, 
depending on the project and depending on who's involved, that may change. But at least for the next couple of short films that I want to do, everything is going to be a little bit different. And I'm, I'm keeping that in mind as far as what I'm asking for of my actors because of the fact that I'm going to be dealing with family members. I'm going to be dealing with friends who are not trained professionals, who are not actors, even if they want to pursue that as a career. At the moment, they're not professionals. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm writing, but not use that as a limitation. You say action, it's not go, it's action. Action. Did that quick. It's a shot. Yeah, Pause. That was faster one than the time, other one. One more time, one more time, one more time. Faster than the other one. It's record and go. Right. Better? Yeah, because you know. Just hide it. I don't give a fuck where you put it. I need you to hide it. <laughs> Damn, it's so good. Alright, one more time. Come on, red face. Go. I'm red, ain't I? A little bit. That damn shot. And I'm getting hot. Just hide it. I don't care where you put it. I need you to hide it. We're up to our neck in this shit right now. We need to hurry up and get the fuck out of here. But I'm not I'm not moving fast enough. Um And you walked out, you got blurry, you walked away. I, that could be a good effect. Yeah. Action. I need you to hide it. I don't care where you put it. We're up to our neck in this shit. We need to hurry up and get the fuck out of here. We need to hide. Just hurry up and come get me right now. Good. I do think it was a great experience and I actually look forward to these next couple of things that I uh, want to work on. The one that I'm doing right now, the script is actually in paper format right now and I'm transferring it to a digital copy. So all my Initial thoughts are already on paper, and now it's gonna go in digital where I'm gonna actually type out a script, or at least the first draft. This short film is gonna be in the same vein as far as it is gonna be a thriller. Um, it's not gonna be a science fiction thriller. It's not gonna have any special effects. I'm honestly gonna focus on creating a short film that has the right pacing, that has the right music, that has, I guess, the right vibe. Um, I'm going for a psychological thriller, so I'm going for something that's going to keep the audience in suspense. And I don't necessarily want it to be a horror where I'm going to be scaring everybody left and right, but I do want it to have that edge of your seat kind of a feel that, oh, you know, like that anticipation. I want to build anticipation. So I guess that's kind of like a goal and a theme for this short film. And I'm going to try to keep it between a minute and two minutes just to see if I can work out a decent amount of pacing when it comes to this versus how I did it last time which everything was trying to be a little bit too fast everything was a little too sped up and you know there was just really no room for absorption there was no room to actually get a feel for what's happening around you you just were just thrown into this and this was happening as opposed to watching something unfold and understanding what's happening making these short films is important just because you have to get these out of the way these first couple of short films are supposed to be trash they are supposed to kind of be cringy a little bit i guess you could say just because you're getting a feel for it and you're actually finding your voice as a director you're finding your voice as a creator so keep that in mind if you are thinking of doing something like that or if it's not a short film just like any creative project just get started you know the more you do the better you're gonna get and the easier it's just going to become just because you're going to be building healthy filmmaking habits. That's one of the things I'm going to continue to say and continue to preach. You have to create daily. If it's not necessarily behind the camera, just do something creative. Do something to flex your creative muscle. Even if it's five minutes of editing a picture, five minutes of editing something on your phone. Just do something creative. Consume less, create more.